An object at rest undergoes an explosion and breaks into two fragments. If fragments A and B acquire 1,000 joules and 200 joules of kinetic energy respectively through the explosion, what is the ratio of their masses? It's an explosion, so we can use the momentum conservation for this problem. The initial momentum equals to the final momentum. Since the object starts at rest, that means the initial momentum is zero, which means the final momentum must also be zero. After the explosion, the object breaks into two fragments A and B. If the total momentum at the end has to be zero, that means the A and the B, they must have equal amount but opposite direction momentum so that they can cancel. So that means the, the magnitude of the momentum of A and the B must be equal. The problem gave us information about their kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Because A and B, they have the same amount of momentum, it can be convenient for me to rewrite this kinetic energy in terms of momentum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair up m and v to get momentum. So I'm going to make this m squared v squared. So I have momentum squared. But of course, I cannot just make this uh, m squared for no reason. I have to divide this by m. This way, the two sides are equal. Now, I can write this as uh, 1 half momentum squared divided by the mass. If I compare the fragment A and the fragment B, they have the same amount of momentum and uh, the 1 half is a constant. So if I use proportion, I can say that the kinetic energy of a fragment would be proportional to 1 over the mass. Now, that also means the kinetic energy is inversely proportional to the mass. If I inverse the two sides, I'm going to get mass is proportional to 1 over kinetic energy. Anyway, the mass and the kinetic energy of the fragments will be inversely related. In this problem, we need to find the ratio of their masses. So if I want to find the ratio of the mass A to mass B, that means uh, this is uh, proportional to 1 over K. That will be 1 over kinetic energy of A to 1 over kinetic energy of B, which is uh, the kinetic energy of B divided by the kinetic energy of A because they're inversely related. So the mass of A to mass of B equals to the kinetic energy of B to kinetic energy of A. Let's see. The kinetic energy of B is 200 joules. The kinetic energy of A is 1,000. So this gives us a ratio 1 to 5. Or I can simply say if the mass and the kinetic energy, they are inversely related, that means if the kinetic energy is 5 to 1, that means the ratio for the mass must be 1 to 5. So this is the answer. And this tells us that the, the one with more energy has a smaller mass. That's why we want a cannon to be much heavier than a cannonball. So most of the energy released by the explosion would go to the much lighter cannonball. In order for me to be able to say that the mass and the kinetic energy are inversely related, the two fragments have to have the same amount of momentum. This means uh, if you see a problem like this one, the explosion must start with the object at rest. So the total momentum of the system is zero. And it will always break into exactly two pieces. So in order to keep the final momentum zero, the two fragments have to have equal magnitude and opposite direction momentum at the end. Therefore, we can have these equal magnitude momentums, which lead to the inverse relationship between the mass and the kinetic energy.